defensive pressure from the Golden Eagles. Yemi Ogunye, as you said, their best perimeter defender, has been on him pretty much the entire game. So you see Oral Roberts over the big foul limit of 10. That means KU will shoot two the rest of the way. If there's a tie-up, ORU would get the ball. Jayhawks really can't afford to give up points here. They're going to chase it all over the floor. Liberty charging in. Oh, no, instead, they're going to call a foul on Kansas. Jackson, they say, got there a little bit late. That's a third on Jackson. And that's the eighth team foul on KU. That makes this, oh, I was going to say one and one. No, Liberty's going to shoot two. He was in the act of shooting. Liberty now three of five from the line. That keeps it a one possession game for the moment. Or you with only one field goal over the last six and a half minutes of this game. They work it for all Roberts right now. Liberty had been to the free throw line within the last couple minutes. And that makes it a two possession game. Four point lead for the Golden Eagles. And Kansas will need to attack quickly. Robinson tripped up. Liberty tripped up. Russell Robinson, which means that Robinson will go to the line to shoot two. That's the second foul on Liberty. But now you get an opportunity with the clock stopped at one minute for the Jayhawks to get three points. Yeah, that's the best thing that could have happened to Kansas right there with that foul coming, coming so early in the possession. Robinson just one of three from the line in this game. Jayhawks is 50% from the line tonight. Kansas going to the little smaller team and a little bit quicker to give him a better chance of covering the floor with Darrell Arthur out there. And L. Jackson out. Second shot really never had a chance. And right now, three-point lead for ORU again. And Robinson, a quick foul on Liberty. I think we've got a timeout before the foul. We did, so no foul there. Time for the AT&T All Access plays of the game. Go to KUAthletics.com and click the All Access icon to get all the action for KU Sports. And the player of the game has to be Veely. Well, he has been the difference in the ball game for Oral Roberts. Probably a surprise to everybody in the building. You don't know a lot about your opponents at this time of year. You simply don't have that much tape on games played previously. Feely's really, got to be a huge surprise to both Kansas and Oral Roberts. Yeah, no question. Seven of eight from three-point range tonight. He had never made more than one. And here he is with seven in the game tonight. 22 points, all that career-high stuff. All that phenomenal from the sophomore, Feely, out of Oklahoma City. Again, you see no timeouts left now for the Golden Eagles. Kansas still has one remaining. And Kansas still has a foul to burn, in a sense, in that if they foul ORU in a non-shooting situation, it'd be a one-and-one -one opportunity for the Golden Eagles. Many times that possession arrow is overlooked. It favors Oral Roberts. Kansas needs a strong defensive stand right here. They'd love to be able to get a trap and a steal. See if they can force a turnover. And if not, a quick foul. And try to foul someone that's not a good free throw shooter. Arthur is on Caleb Green. Right now, the keeper, Oral Roberts, is ball handling out front. That's a surprising shot, but it goes down for Ken Tut. He's one of two seniors on their team. Used to taking the important shots. Heard a good part of last year. Robinson, no. And Oral Roberts has the rebound. And a hook here by Chalmers. A foul on Mario Chalmers, which will send Tut to the line. That was 
An unbelievable shot just a moment ago by Ken Tut. I thought it was ill-advised at the time he let it go. He had plenty of time on the shot clock, and he took a long three. Good for him that he made it, but I can't believe that's the shot that Scott Sutton wanted to see in that particular time. That might have been one of those things where the coach says, oh, no, but then it turned out to be a good yeah. thing. Oh, good. That puts Tut in double figures with 10 now. And, and it wasn't like Tut was hot, not like Veely. Tut was only three for 15 from the field in this game. Yeah, but he's got the shooter's mentality. And when you miss a shot or two, a good shooter's going to think, I'm just one shot closer to my next make. So the third-ranked Jayhawks taking on a team from the mid-con. And Chalmers is fouled on the play. Well, it's called on number 33, Sean King. That foul on King, and that'll be number five on him. So King will get the exit here at Allen Fieldhouse. And three free throws. It stops the clock with 17 seconds. Three free throws here for Chalmers. Scott Sutton and the Golden Eagles. This could be a huge win for ORU. This coming on the heels of a tough three-point loss on the road to Loyola Marymount. And the Golden Eagles come home to play at the Maybe Center against Louisiana Lafayette. Scott Sutton already had that program on the upswing, but I don't think you get a better, bigger win than what they're in position for right now. Mm -hmm. And a quick foul here, but Tut hanging out of the ball will go back to the line. Scott Sutton almost in disbelief and took the heroic efforts of Marcello Vili tonight with seven three-pointers and the great play of Caleb Green, which was expected. 20 points, 11 rebounds, the 48 double-double of Caleb Green's career, and that's why he's smiling. These Golden Eagles come in here to Allen Fieldhouse, where we pointed out the great success of the Jayhawks since the 94-95 season. It's Bill Self and his Jayhawks who are disappointed tonight. And they're certainly going to fall from that number three ranking. Coach Self has been talking a lot split over the last week or so about getting his team's attention, getting them to practice harder. Well, if he needed anybody to get his team's attention, this ought to do it. And that will do it. Oral Roberts pulls off a stunning upset here at Allen Fieldhouse. Scott Sutton, a guy that he admires so much in Bill Self because Bill gave Scott Sutton his first coaching opportunity. And Caleb Green and these Golden Eagles come in here split and absolutely shock the Jayhawks. Well, they had a terrific first half to where they picked up a whole lot of confidence, played with a lot of poise in the second half, knew they had some players that could come in and match up with the Jayhawks, didn't know they'd come in with as many as they have. So a career high, 22 for Beely, 20 more from Green, and Oral Roberts stuns KU. Don't forget to join us Sunday night at 7 o'clock here on the Jayhawk Network as KU takes on Towson. For Paul Splitarf, Dave Armstrong sings.